What was supposed to be a simple comedy routine at the annual radio and television correspondence dinner in Washington two weeks ago has turned into another Washington controversy. First Business correspondent Mark White tells us why this morning. Bobby Bonilla hit a double, and we all heard the president in his obvious excitement holler, Go, baby! <laughs> and I remember commenting at the time, I bet that's not the first time he said that. <laughs> remember the AstroTurf in the pickup? That's just a sample of the material radio personality Don Imus used in front of the president, the first lady, and a couple thousand of this country's most notable politicians and press. Last night at the National Press Club, hundreds gathered to try to sort out what's funny in Washington, or better yet, what's appropriate. What was interesting about the Washington audience was that people were shocked, but they would do this. They'd go like, oh my, I can't believe he's doing it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Gosh, what a horrible, hor <laughs> I would not, in front of the president, make a joke about his infidelity with his wife sitting right there. I wouldn't do that to any couple at a dinner party. And I think politicians reflect the society. And the fact that the, the line has been moved in society, and then and reporters accept said, uh, certain statements, and politicians end up mirroring the society. I think an age-old tradition, the city doesn't have much of a sense of humor, but thank God some of the people in it do. When you invite Don Imus, you get, big surprise, Don Imus. What on earth did they expect? If politicians and pundits were to take themselves a little less serious, perhaps the comedians would run out of material. Mark White, First Business. One thing is for certain, it does give us something to talk about at the dinner table. Yes, it sure does. It also is interesting to see how times change. Different tastes and different types of humor. Yes, it seems to be a certain loss of elegance. Yep. Tonight, so. That's it for us for this morning. Have a great day, and we will see you back here first thing tomorrow. First Business, Business News for Business People, has been brought to you by...